All right, so we have this mailbox here. We're gonna go through, <coughs> and uh, this is what we're gonna be working on installing today. All right, all right. So we go collect our stones. Yeah, you having fun? So, back here, I'm just going to come get some of these stones. Shovel up and use his backfill. All right, and we're back. So, we got, should be plenty of stones to work out there, and now, just gonna go bring them up front. So, this is the mailbox we wanna get rid of. It's super wobbly, pieces have been falling off of it and stuff. And uh, we just gotta pull it out. <laughs> Yeah, that's what really rotten looks like. <laughs> So, looking at this, right up in that corner there, So, that stake right over there. That's what we're gonna want to um, take out and get rid of here. Let's move this over a bit, there we go. There we go, a little bit better. So, that stake I'm gonna have to rip out of there, so. I'm gonna go get some uh, pliers or something and I'll be right back. So, here we have this post right there we're gonna have to get rid of. And these are all the supplies cat, plate, posts, screwdriver, shovel, tape measure. Mailbox. All right, so now let's get that piece there off. Thank you. 
There we go. So it's holding it in there. So, now that we have this dugout over here, in this area, we're going to uh, want to use the post hole digger and dig down in there. Get a few feet down, as per the instructions, and uh, start digging. So, for this, want to be a 30 inch hole, which, let's brighten this up a little bit. As you can see, it's just about where the paper is. Kind of hard to get from this angle. That's about the depth of the hole right now. Next step now, because now that we got that, is to cut our board to about 48 inches, which is right over there. All right, let's go cut it. This thing kind of sucks because, as you can see, it's uh, lost a lot of its teeth and uh, it's just not going to cut. It's old, it's used up a lot. I'm going to go get a different saw. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. And I uh, we got this nice Craftsman here. Works pretty well. Uh, not the best blade for it, but I don't really have a good blade at the moment. My brother has my chop saw and that would make this whole thing take about, I don't know, two seconds. But we're gonna do this. Anyways.
All right, so I don't really have a lot of patience for that and it wasn't the cleanest cut as you can see, but this end right here is just going up into the shaft of that, uh, into the shaft of the box right there. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like. It just has to work. All right, let's go throw her in there and fill her up with the stone. All right, so as you can see, we're gonna throw this in. Just do a double measurement real here real quick. Make sure we're good to go, which we are. All right, let's get it in there. For starters, I'm just gonna throw a handful of stone down at the bottom. That way, there'll be a little bit of drainage for that side. Throw that in there like such. And now time for that. All right, back here real quick. So one thing I had forgotten about was I just want to throw a level up on there just to uh, make sure it's relatively straight. I mean, it's a mailbox outside, so it doesn't matter too, too much, but we want it to be pretty close, if not perfect. All right, so now we got that mailbox in there, the post, nice and tight. Now, next thing to do is put the sleeve over it. So, now the next step is going to be to drill the holes in here and here. So, I'm actually just going to clear out some of these rocks here. It's that way we can put our two holes in and get the uh, bag screws attached. Alright, so. <laughs> And the drill bit that works with this. And we'll get started. So, I have to go get some uh, different attachment for the drill so that way I can actually throw these hex heads in there. All right, I'll be right back. All right, now we should be back for sure. Seven sixteenths. Alright. Switch this into low. So that way we have a little bit more control.
Cool. All right, she bites. So. Got that bites in there nicely. We're gonna take a little bit of this uh, <clears throat> silicone sealer in these holes. get this on camera here. Focus. There we go. So that's the sealer that they provide you with. So that's what we're going to use. Should be fine. It's a well weather uh, rated um, aluminum post that's got some coatings on it and stuff with pressure treated lumber. It's, it should last much longer than that other one did. Um, but anyhow, so we're going to throw the sealer into the holes, and, uh, and then we're going to throw our screws through. Close and tight, take this one. We got those things in there, they're siliconed on. So, next step we got here, based on the instructions, is we're gonna go ahead and put on these two caps. We should have two caps in here. The point of the stones here is so that you have a nice solid thing so that the post isn't going anywhere. It's nice and securely in there, but it allows the water to just wash right through and not really um, be soaking wet all the time it's sitting there. So that's in there. Next thing we got to do is uh, put these up. Uh, two arm brackets on here and uh, then we can move on to the next step after that. All right, so we got this piece and we got these holes here. So there's one of these screws is gonna go into those two holes on both sides and it has one of these little caps. So that way we can take one of these brown covers when we're done and snap that brown cover off. So first things first, this is going to go through the hole, kind of act like a washer. And one go in there. We're going to take these little caps here and put those caps uh, on the ends of those pieces.
right, so this next part we got here, we got to remove these caps, and we're going to put these screws in those spots. All right, be right back. All right, so we remove those, and as you can see, there's a light coming through them. So we can focus that a little bit better. There we go. You can see the light coming through them, so those four outer ones are removed. Now it's time to put the screws in. All right, got that done now. Now let's go check and see what the next step is. Last part is just to put the finial ball on using a rubber mallet. <laughs> Pressure to the outside and apparently that's all needs to stay on, so. You know what, I'll tell you what. I might apply a little bit of like silicone or something to the underside of this just so that way it'll help stick to here. Oh, there we go. Used up all the rest of this that I had left. This uh, blue RTV silicone. I don't really think it's gonna do very much, but you know, having it on those dimples might help. I don't know, 10% something. Help a little bit, perhaps, hopefully. And uh, let's put it on there. All right, that's on. Got our little flag here. Well, I'll bring the camera around so you can see that in a moment. All right, so this is the mailbox. Got our little flag here. Nice uh, bronzy color, the cap. Got these posts down here. And the caps on those. This goes down to our bit of stones. All right, there it is. What you wanna do, just put it down when you're done. Got that in there. Brighter so you can see. We'll let that uh, silicone dry before uh, we go ahead and start using any of that. But uh, when you look at this, one thing you'll notice has that nice strong, uh, it's like one of the neodymium magnets there which is just going to uh, come up and attach on this piece right here and uh, gives it a nice here. Well, you listen to this. Here, you hear that? Nice strong magnetic lock. Um, the door and all, all this aluminum is actually, you know, as you can see, it's fairly thick. And uh, the, actual, the mailbox actually weighs a good bit. You can let you, uh, it's actually fairly deep. It's not that tingy of a sound. Um, so now, uh, next thing we got to do is just uh, put the numbers on the side and we'll be done. So. First, just gonna use a little alcohol on here. Clean it off.
That one only. All right. Let's stick it on there. And same process as before. Take an alcohol wipe. Wipe all this down. Alright, so we got that's all done now. Now, we just gotta clean all this stuff up. And uh, once that's all cleaned up, we can then work on cleaning up that space. Making it look nice again. Alright, be right back. And we're back. All clean. Cool. Alright, now, we're gonna take this stuff. Focus there. And all this stuff. We're gonna clean all this up. And put some fresh mulch down. All right, let's get going. There goes the uh, ice cream truck. All right. All right, and there she is, brand new mailbox. All nice and clean. Well, there you go, guys. That's how to install a Whitehall mailbox. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Till next time.